Hey guys, Andy here, and we need to talk. So I've been really busy working lately, just a lot of late nights sitting in front of a computer screen, working on new videos, new projects, um, a lot of different things that can't really talk about right now. And I've also been behind the camera as well, looking at an even smaller screen doing work. And it's been really exciting and really creatively fulfilling doing those things. But doing so has come at a bit of a price. And so I've had some, some time to really think about things and come to a very major decision. So I just want to, to say thank you because you've been there with me through a lot of hard times. You, you know, you've been there with me when I joined the Navy, when I went out to San Diego to go to A school, to go to C school, then go to my very first ship, USS Kurtz, FFG 38, 38 Special. You were there with me during deployment as well, traveling outside of America for the very first time in my life, getting to see and experience cultures vastly different from nowhere Ohio. You were there with me even when I went back to school to learn a new sonar system before I got sent to my next ship, which would try to be my last ship, USS Lassen, DG-82. You were there with me when I was stationed in Yokosuka, Japan for the first time, being in Japan, the country that I've wanted to be in since I was a little kid and getting to experience all that Japan has to offer, even with my limited liberty time. You were there with me when I got out of the Navy too and went back to school for the first time in a decade, trying to figure things out, trying to figure out the next step. You were there with me the whole way and you were there with me when I was really struggling trying to find myself and trying to figure out what the next step in my life was gonna be. And you were there with me through going back to my parents and living with them to try to make this uh, video production company thing work. And you were there with me when I really discovered my love for making videos, not just for myself, but for others as well. You were there with me through late nights, early mornings, double shifts. You were there with me through it all. You were even there with me when I moved in with my brother to save up money and to rehab my GPA so I could get into a college out here in Japan. You were there with me when I got that acceptance letter saying, you know, with all the hard work you've been doing, you have been accepted to Lakeland University of Japan. And you were there with me on the plane ride back, the first plane ride that I had been on in over four years. You were there with me. You were there with me in my very first guest house when I was literally living in a wooden box in Tokyo, going to school for the first time in Japan, just trying to figure stuff out. You were there with me when everything went to hell in a handbasket with the uh, thing that must not be named even today. And you were there with me when I was going through some very tough, isolating times. You were there with me when I became the first in my family to get post-secondary education and to get my associate's degree on my 35th birthday. You were there with me. You were also there with me when I got that fateful email that I would be one of the first to be accepted into the new bachelor's program that Lakeland had to offer after being rejected from another university. You were there with me when I became the first student, number one, with a bullet, to receive a bachelor's degree from the Japan campus of Lakeland University. You were there with me through applying for a lot of jobs. You were there with me during interviews. You were there with me when I got that other job out of college that 
didn't turn out so well. I had a couple good times, but uh, a lot of hard times as well. You were there with me when I got accepted for a new position out here in Japan. And you're even still with me right now, watching this video. And so, it's with a heavy heart that I have to say goodbye. And it, it means a lot that you were with me this whole time. So yeah guys, I finally decided to get new glasses for the first time since 2015, right before I got out of the Navy. And I had an exact pair of those same glasses when I was in the Navy, but they broke during deployment, so I decided to get a new pair. And I just stuck with them pretty much the entire time. And I decided with a lot of new things coming that I'd finally put my money where my mouth was and invest in some new eyewear. So yeah, I got these uh, glasses online. They had like this customization feature so you could kind of see how they fit. Even though I paid a little extra for the uh, blue light blocking so I can spend late nights in front of a monitor without my eyes straining. And they also have extra hard protection so the lenses won't get scratched up as much so my eyes won't be as strained. And it's a cool new design, you know? Normally I don't really like plastic frames because I find they, they're a little too heavy on my face but these are like a very light plastic. It actually kind of reminds me of the plastic used in cameras, actually. So it's kind of fitting that I'd have some lenses to look through lenses. And they also have transition lenses too, which you can't see because I'm inside. Really happy with uh, how things turned out. So with that said, this is Andy. Sign up for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Shooting stars in the pale